Hi everyone, it's Elsie here and I've got my second layout for Just Nick to share with you today. Um, this layout came together pretty quickly. The idea was really simple and yeah, just making it wasn't complicated really at all. Um, so I'm sorting through all my papers apparently because um, <laughs> I think it's a problem when you don't wear it with a kit um, and you don't have like a set amount or a certain amount of papers you can use I just end up pulling every, like all my papers out and then just sorting through them all um, <laughs> so yeah I just thought I'd show you that process I'm trying to match papers to the cool kid collection from Crate Paper um, I don't have a lot of papers from that collection so I'm basically using my stash and a lot of my stash is Felicity Jane stuff, um, so that's why I'm looking through all the cardstock and things like that. So you saw the tracing paper with the little monsters on it, and that is a cut file from Just Nick, um, and it's called Little Monsters, which is also the title of this layout. Um, I was very original with that. <laughs> um, yeah, it just worked really well with the photo I want to scrapbook. So here are the papers that I chose, and they're all from Felicity Jane. Uh, this blue one is my absolute favourite one. Um, the way this monster turned out on the blue paper is my favourite. Um, it's I think it was a paper from November's 2016's kit. It's very like minty blue um, paper with it. It kind of looks like knitted texture, um, and it's just yeah, it's so nice. I love it. Um, and yeah, I'm just tracing the pe um, the drawings with a pencil through the thing, tracing paper thing, and yeah, just cutting out the designs are really easy to cut out, so that was nice. Um, I think I need to do like a proper video just like purely on how I paper piece and how I do it. Is that something people would be interested in? Because I do get a lot of questions about people asking me. So it might be a good thing to have a video, I think, where I just kind of have the whole video just explaining step by step what I do. Is that something people would be interested in? I don't know. Let me know. So I'm just getting all the little details and like the mouths and the eyes. And I thought they looked a bit dead looking. <laughs> um, so I used a regular hole punch with some white cardstock to like punch out eyeballs basically um, just to make them not look as kind of vague, vague looking. <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, they're really simple shapes to cut out and like, yeah, really quick as well. So I really recommend getting something like this. Um, like or getting this cut file because it's just so yeah it's just so fun and easy to make so yeah taking pictures of everything because I can never make my mind up and just taking a picture of everything just kind of makes it all make sense I think um, so I did some stitching around the edges of the monsters with some matching thread and just went over like their features with white thread and yeah this is kind of my plan. So I knew what the title was going to be. It was going to be Little Monsters, which is the name of the cut file, but I just thought that worked really well. And yes, this font is called Hand Cut Letters and it's just, it's really cartoony and kind of um, higgledy-piggledy, which is one of my favorite words. <laughs> I think that's kind of a good way to describe it. And yeah, I just thought this worked really well. and. As you can see, I just traced um, the letters onto some, uh, I think it's, it's a very dark grey cardstock from Felicity Jane, and cutting them out. And they're really easy shapes to cut out, or letters to cut out. Um, and yeah, they just look really fun and cute, cute, cute. <laughs> I was about to say cute and cool at the same time, so I was like, cute. <laughs> Oh dear. So deciding where I want everything um, 
and yeah I like the monsters kind of nestled around my photo have I said what my photo is? I don't think I have it's of my little brothers and I when we were very little and it's um, my brother is on a bike and I think it was his first bike and we just all look a bit crazy and goofy so I thought because um, there's three of us I'd make three little monsters and that would look cute so yeah I'm going over the their eyeballs with like a black pen um, just to give a bit more life to them because they really did look quite dead um, and yeah that just that just worked I'm using a stateless stadler I don't know how you pronounce their name black pen it's like a fine point pen and yeah just yeah they look so much better now with eyeballs <laughs> Um, so that star paper is from Felicity Jane. It's from one of the essentials packs, which is just like um, a bunch of black and white papers. And I absolutely love this star print. Um, it's just super fun. And I love stars. And I thought that would be a nice little accent to go around the title. And yeah, I end up doing it in a couple of other places, like to the right side of the layout and also below the monsters in the photo um so yeah i also i felt like it needed something to kind of fill in the gaps um and felicity jane has a couple of stamp sets with stars in them and i think the one that i used was called susie and it has like three kind of sizes of open stars um so that worked really well and just used that with some black ink adding some more details to that one on the left side, the monster on the left side um, it needed eyelashes so I added some eyelashes in also the um, I embellished slightly with the monsters so the two on the left have like a bow and a crown on their head, I didn't feel like the um, the blue one needed anything um, so he's just plain <laughs> um, but I added that little blue bow which was from Maggie Holmes Gather I think and the little crown was from the puffy sticker sheet from Crate Paper Cool Kid and that raw was also from the chipboard from Cool Kid and that little um, I guess it's like a lightning bolt but it just looks really nice as like an accent to a title um, is also from Cool Kid and yeah I really struggled with embellishing this page I think because the you know like the monsters and the title was such like a big like focal points of the page that everything else just made it look too busy and it just didn't really fit so yeah in that way it's quite a simple page because I didn't really need to um, fuss around too much if I just had like those little monsters and the title and they just kind of all plop together on the page really well technical term plop <laughs> plop is a horrible word okay I'll stop saying it now <laughs> and yeah I added those little um, cars from the chipboard sheet and I thought that worked quite well because they look like a kind of a playroom floor I guess I don't know um, yeah and the colours like because they're all kind of primary colours they all kind of match the monsters and then I added some more stars down the bottom um, just for that like point of three or the rule of thirds and that's it so thank you to Nicole from Just Nick for asking me to be a guest designer I loved making these layouts and I hope I've inspired those of you who do have silhouettes um, to try using cut files in new ways or and those of you who don't to use cut files because um, it's a really great way to get designs and that um, so I'll have a link to on screen now to my previous Just Nick layout as well as another video and yeah like, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.